Prophet, Prophet Rovet, this Prophet of Black Supremacy. This is a new segment we're going to be doing. Every morning at 9. So, Grand Rising, y'all. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's a beautiful day out here in Atlanta, man. For real, it is. And we're going to be doing this every day at 9. Until... The book release of Three Steps to End Racism right now. So we're going to be doing this every morning at 9. There's a new segment, y'all. Um, so I'm going to get y'all familiar with it. I didn't promote this. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to be doing it consistently. I wrote on Facebook that consistency is my superpower. Peace. Peace. What's going on, y'all? Consistency is a superpower, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I've been doing Two Raw for TV, hosting Two Raw for TV from um, since November 4, 2010, every Thursday at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. And there's one thing that rest in power to my brother, Ikali Black, who um, was tragically killed by Tennessee police he was shot 50 times they say he shot a police officer that was one of my main people um he told me one of the last things he told me before his um tragic murder by by police was that when you do consistent shit consistent shit happens you feel me so you know what I always always that always you know, stuck out with me. That was one of the last things he said to me. And um, I keep that very, very close to my heart. So big time shout out to my brother E, um, who was killed in this race war that we are in um, by race soldiers out there. Um, but he's still here. So this is Meditation with the Master. Again, this is Paul Metal Star, the Ratchet Revolutionary, but you can call me Prophet. Prophet Robet, Prophet of Black Supremacy. And I I wanna I'm doing this consistently because you know I'm putting out the book that's the most important book of the new age. It's called Three Steps to End Racism right now. And it's a book that's meant to be read in one setting. So you you sit down and you can read it in one setting. You know what I'm saying? Black supremacy, what's going on, family? You can sit down and read it in one setting. Um, and, you know, that's what how it's, how it's meant to be read. And it's called Three Steps to End Racism Right Now. Because racism is just a, a mental construct. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a complete mentally contrived construct. And the thing about um, racism is it works because other people aside from you are able to define your reality. See, a free person defines their own reality as they as they see it. You know what I'm saying? A free person defines their own reality as they see it. That's the true definition of freedom. Not this crazy crazy stuff that they got you guys believing in like um, you know, Oh, well, um, freedom is, uh, you work for us, uh, you pay taxes, and then, uh, we own you still. No, 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 that's not, that's not freedom. That's not freedom. (laughs) Freedom is the ability for the free person to define their own reality as they see fit. You know what I'm saying? Freedom is not, um, whatever they they, they put it out there. Oh, you guys are out of the chains now, and you're in mental chains, and you gotta work for... Walmart and work for you know work for all these different corporations now you're still working for us 
And uh, yeah, and you're still chattel slavery if we catch you niggers doing anything bad. Oh no, 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 no. That is not that is not freedom. That's not freedom. Freedom is the ability for one person for the free person to define their own reality. So this is one thing I'm gonna do, right? This is the best way to read the dictionary. And I I know a dictionary that's sort of um sort of passe. You know what I'm saying? It, reading any hard copy book is passe, but um, but spell check, um, spell check, uh, the definite the dictionary on your computer, how they define your words. Okay, this is a Webster's dictionary. You know what I'm saying? And the best way to read the dictionary, this is the best way to read it. You know what I'm saying? The best way to define your words, especially the Black's Law Dictionary. If you have a copy of the Black's Law Dictionary. The best way to read this, the best way to read any of their words on how they define your reality, this is the best way to read it. You take you take the dictionary, you flip it open, so you get a good grip of it. You see a good grip, you got a good grip of this dictionary. Take the trash can and you put it right in the trash. That's the best way to read the dictionary or to read any sort of thing that defines your reality that pink people are defining your reality so in this um in this um mat um meditation with the master segment that we're going to be doing every morning at 9 p.m at 9 a.m uh, 9 a.m eastern time is um is that we're going to define our reality. We're going to define different words. You know what I'm saying? So, racism. You know what I'm saying? Now, people say <laughs> black people could be racist. That, you know, you go into a, a Arab store and, 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 you know what I'm saying, he's talking slick to you and you say, oh man, you, you saying N-I, you saying N-word, that's racist. Or, you know, somebody, somebody comes up to you and, um, you know what I'm saying, like, you you call a pink person a cracker that's racist and you're you know what I'm saying they they no black people can't be racist black people cannot be racist in this um construct the only true racism is systemic racism that's the only true racism not that not that crap that bullshit that they got written in Webster's dictionary or anything that you could find which is basically just um is basically um prejudice or it's um it's um it's basically um prejudice of, of another with another name you know what i'm saying that's not racism that is not racism racism is systemic racism racism it um involves oh well, let's do this three steps to end racism right now one of the things that I do is I do a um, I'm not gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk about um, you know one of the things that I do is clearly define our reality you know what I'm saying in that so I'm gonna I'm pull it up you know what I'm saying the three steps to end racism right now um, and we're gonna get and we'll talk about the true definition of racism so what the true definition of racism is, you know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about that. Because racism is not, you know, um, someone calling you, even someone calling you nigger. That's not racist, um, so to speak. Let's let's talk about what true racism is. You know what I'm saying? True racism, true racism is not prejudice under a different name. What's going on, Ellie? Black supremacy, y'all. And this is Palmetto Star, the Ratchet Revolutionary. I am the host of Two Raw for TV, but you can call me Prophet. Prophet Robet, the Prophet of Black Supremacy. Oh, uh, now, I'm going to talk about that. I'm talking about my name. I've been had this name, you know what I'm saying, out, out here. But um, I want to talk about how I introduced it to the, to the, um, to the interweb, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, to the social media and talk about all that stuff because i know you guys are like oh this guy he you know we know him from activism and doing protests and stuff like that and now all of a sudden he's writing books and all that <laughs> nah this is i i've always been doing this i always been writing um i was 
at one point one of the top young writers in this country. Um, you know, so, you know, that's that's what the National Book Foundation had um, declared me. Um, I have several published pieces of, um, of my writing out there. This is my first book. And Three Steps to End Racism right now is so important that I'm releasing it for free. It is so important to society that I am releasing it for free. People wanted me to sell it. And I said, I, I can't, I can't in good conscience sell this book because it is, there's, it's too much vital information that we have to have right now. Because literally, once you read the book, once you finish reading, at the end of the book, the last page, racism is over. There is no more racism. You know what I'm saying? So that, that, to me, that's too important for me to sell. So that's why I know the Bible is fake. You know what I'm saying? Because if the Bible was real, then people would then the people that are following the Bible, they were compelled to be given it to, without without any sort of anything. You know what I'm saying? You, there's no trade of or anything with it. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't there shouldn't be one Bible for sale anywhere. If the Bible was real, it would be absolutely free. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you guys go to patreon.com slash you can call me profit that's with the u c a n matter of fact i'm gonna put this on i'm put it on the live so you guys know what it is um patreon.com slash you can call me profit um you can go and support the movement and every last single dollar will be supporting the movement um i'm, I'm doing children's books as well i'm releasing another book on march 24th um but this this first book that I'm doing, I'm doing it for absolutely free because it is that important to society. Now, let's get back to the, what we were talking about, defining our reality and the true definition of racism. You know what I'm saying? Which is not prejudice under another name. It's the true definition of racism. Okay. Racism. And I define this in the book. I do a lot of defining in the book because... That's one of the things that um, that keeps us in this construct is our is the words that we use and the words that we see these words we are contracts you know what I'm saying so we are we are bound contractually on a ta on tacitly which means um, without saying anything we're bond we're bound tacitly to these contracts um, by saying these words. Um, and one of the words, one of the main words is racism, which they say is, uh, which they act like everybody could be racist and, you know what I'm saying, all this other crazy stuff. No. Racism, the true definition of racism, which I define in three steps to end racism right now, um, is a system of rules, regulations, and laws often implemented under the guise of bigotry and hatred meant to disenfranchise, enslave, and kill black people to maintain a structure of false power. So, you could only be racist towards black people. You know what I'm saying? Black people could only be racist towards other black people. You know what I'm saying? At this time, you know, it's a system of rules, regulations. Okay, let's read this definition again. This is the true definition of racism, which I clearly define What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Shout out to New York, Brooklyn all day. I already know what it is. Um, racism. A system of rules, regulations, and laws often implemented under the guise of bigotry and hatred meant to disenfranchise, enslave, and kill black people to maintain a structure of false power. That's, that's the true definition of racism. There is no other definition of racism other than that. What's going on, brother? Shout out to Brazil, man. What's going on, Jamal? Um, so we're going to, we're going to, um, and let me read this definition one more time because this is very important. This is the, this is a very important definition because as free people, we must be able to define our reality as we see, um, as we see fit. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's the only way that's going to work is black people need to define their own reality as they see fit. Racism is a system of rules, 
regulations and laws often implemented under the guise of bigotry and hatred meant to disenfranchise, enslave, and kill black people to maintain a structure of false power. So, you know, that, that's the only true racism. Black people could only be racist towards other black people at this time. Now, um, another word is white supremacy. And actually, white supremacy and racism are the same thing. You know what I'm saying? And um, as black, as as free people, we need to stop saying stuff that because that word, that word, white supremacy, is um is completely false. You know what I'm saying? It's completely false. It's a false construct. Be- uh, we're gonna go onto that word um, a little bit later uh, on another morning meditation. Is uh you know the the word white supremacy which. We're not saying that anymore, but we're going to define it. And it's, the, and it's the same thing as racism. They're actually synonyms. You know, they're the same exact thing. Um, a system of rules, regulations, and laws often implemented under the guise of bigotry and hatred meant to disenfranchise, enslave, kill, and kill black people to maintain a structure of false power. Now, you know... Um, People may take the argument when black people are, as black people start rising in power, which is happening, the the, the um, black solstice, December 21st has happened, black people have their superpowers, you know what I'm saying, black people have their superpowers right now, don't get it twisted, so, um, you know, there's nothing that can stop black people right now, so, you know, the, the winter solstice, a, aka the black solstice has happened, um, with the planetary alignment that's happening We're still right at this very moment You know what I'm saying Yes, I'm in Atlanta Getting all that Atlanta sun right now <laughs> So, um Yeah, the, the, the fall The, you know, the, um As black people rise in power Can they be racist? No, 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 no There is, the, even Well, this is my thing Black people should strive to be racist let me say that one more time. Black people should strive to be racist as a as a way to gain power. You know what I'm saying? That uh, it, but us implementing um, being racist towards other ra- uh, other people that stole everything from us. You know what I'm saying? These people literally stole everything from us, and they are defining your reality and they're you know they're doing all that stuff even if you even if black people uh, hypothetically enslaved these people or you know killed these people or prostituted out these people that would not be racist that would actually be 180 degrees different than what's happening right now you know what i'm saying that would be that would kind of be justice you know what the false what they say is justice you know what i'm saying um but right now we're going to do what martin luther king said and that's to get the language right you know what i'm saying and we we discuss what racism truly is you know what i'm saying and oh uh, what it's not you know what i'm saying um you can't black people cannot be racist at all you know what i'm saying so three steps to end racism right now is the most important book of the new age and to be available for free to save the world on January 20th. Look, um, go to this um, Instagram, go to um, You Can Call Me Prophet on Instagram. Um, go to all of these, uh, go to my social media um, and you to stay updated on where it can be downloaded. But three steps to end racism right now. I couldn't, I, I, I can't, there's no way I could sell this book because it's the most important book of the new age. And it has information in there that will actually change society upon reading it. So as soon as you finish the last page of three steps to end racism right now, racism as a construct will be over. There's no, there will be no more racism in your world. You know what I'm saying? Guaranteed. So, um, so that, that's what it is. Again, let me, let, okay, this is, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna recap what I had said. This is the, um, meditation with the master, which we're doing every morning at 9 p.m. until, until at least 
um, February, I mean, sorry, January 20th when the book release happens of um, Three Steps to End Racism right now. So we're doing this every morning at 9, 9 a.m. Um, so just check out this channel and post this, um, post this video. Um, but racism is a system of rules, regulations, and laws often implemented under the guise of bigotry and hatred meant to disenfranchise, enslave, and kill black people to maintain a structure of false power. That's what real racism really is. Not that bullshit that they got you thinking racism is and black people could be racist and you're racist if you... No, 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 no. Black people should strive towards power and that may look racist to other people that have been really racist to black people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That may be... That may be they may call that racism... You know what I'm saying? When black people strive towards power, and that striving towards power is something that you should do because nothing can stop you right now. The winters, the winter solstice has happened. Yep. Um, I, we we went into the true definition of power of uh, racism, so you definitely could check that out. Um, what we did, we I said the definition like a million times on this on this particular live, but um, it's not that bullshit that they have you um thinking it is. It, black people cannot be. Black people cannot be racist under, um, the only true racism is systemic racism. It's not prejudice or bigotry or any of that other stuff under a different name. That's just, that's fake. You know what I'm saying? They'll tell you, they'll say, oh, would you do, if you don't like someone because of the color of their skin or you don't, are you like, no, no, that's not racism. That's, that's not racism. Sorry. That's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 bullshit and don't let them define you don't let them define from this day forward do not listen to any definitions of their words you know what i'm saying one of the things one, because every single thing that we've been told is a lie one of the lies that they told black people is that oh well you guys can't define this can't define your own reality with english because english is uh, uh um was created by white people show me the pink person that created english i'll wait I'll wait. They didn't strip up our language. We always been speaking English. <laughs> we all that's as a black language. All these languages were created by black people. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to speak um Swahili to speak a black language. All of these languages were created by black people. You know what I'm saying? They didn't strip us of our language. We're the masters of all these languages, including English. We created English. Yes. And we will define ourselves by any means necessary. English, or what they call uh, Cantonese, Portuguese, Spanish. You know what I'm saying? They, so show me the pink person that created English. Show me the pink person that created Portuguese. Show me the pink person that created um, Italian. You know what I'm saying? Show me the pink person that created Cantonese. You can't. You can't even show me the fake Chinese person that created uh, Cantonese. You can't. You can't. Black people created this. All this when they don't show you something, when they don't, when they don't show you something, that means black people were involved. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Yoruba, history of Af Africana. Yes, facts, facts, family. But um, so. English is our language. They didn't strip us of our English, that are of our language. We always been speaking English. Come on, man. Don't, don't let them lie to you. Stop letting them lie to you and defining your reality. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to talk about that. Um, um, uh, this is the first morning that we're doing this. Master with the meditation. Um, um, sorry, meditation with the master. You featuring me, Palmetto Star. But you can call me Prophet, Prophet Robet, Prophet of Black Supremacy. We're going to talk about um, a lot more things. Um, we're going to talk about a lot more things. We're going to do this every morning, y'all, at 9 a.m. We're going to be doing this every morning, 9, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, 9, 9 a.m. Atlanta Time. I'm dedicated um, and being consistent with you guys because it's that important. Um, so we're going to do this, y'all. You know, big time shout out to everybody. A black supremacy and until next time y'all meditate on your mastery